All right, so today I'm working in Fusion, and um, I've been working on this part. I ran this part yesterday and today uh, for a couple of groups that came in, and I'm, I'm working to make that conversion from HSM to Fusion. Um, it's been a little bit of a challenge. I found find myself wanting to go back to in HSM all the time. I like a lot of the things that Fusion offers, but it is just a little bit of a learning curve. So as I've been working through that, I've had to um, just kind of learn some things just a little bit differently. I love the fact that it's automatically saving everything to the cloud, um, and that's been uh, a huge benefit of whenever I'm jumping from computer to computer. So one of the things that I found was really easy to do in HSM was edit the post on um, on, just kind of changing all those integers. On the on the Fusion side, I found that to be just a little harder to kind of come in and, and just manipulate that in the same way. So I've got this part, and it's really three setups. Um, setup zero is the fixture. Setup one is the bottom side of this part. And so I ran this, and I created a little fixture for it. Um, one has a two-inch square cut in it, and the other side has a 1.950 pocket cut in it. First operation I came through and um, used an adaptive to mill around the outside of it and to take the face of it off. Then the second time I came around, oh, flip this thing around one more time here, and um, then I second operation to the part I had it. It's in a, a vise with just some soft jaws that I made. Second operation comes in, uses an adaptive again, and comes around the outside of it, uh, then does a 2D contour, and then chamfers both parts of it. So it's really a lot like the 5M uh, from Titan, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a female and a male of this guy. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to make my post just a little bit better, and while I'm talking about that, about editing your post and making it come out the way that you want it to, um, I also, also want to talk about skipping operations. So what I did in this one is I created, I went up to NC Program, and let's see, I was up here when I did that, and then I went to NC Program, and in doing this, you have to kind of work through what you want to do. So say 4600 is my program number, um, whatever file extension that I want it to be, and then um, I left all capabilities, and then I went to vendor for Haas Automation, and there it was that, and then I went down to just a real simple, straightforward, uh, nothing fancy, pre and GK for the Haas. Next day I went to Properties, and I uh, just kind of answered the questions. I do want to use optional stop, uh, optional cycle tool at stops, or at cycle, optional cycle tools at stop, um, optional measure tools at start, preload tools. I definitely don't want that. Um, separate words and spaces, can do that or not. Those things don't really bother me, but there are a couple things that I really like to have on there. So block number only at tool changes, yes. I want my sequence number to start with 100, and I want it to move in 100s. Uh, sh I can show notes. Uh, on this program, I don't have any notes. Um, and then I want to use G0 instead of using that uh, 500 feed rate. So I think, um, also I'll do radial, radius arcs on this program. Now, come over here, and I have the opportunity to um, do all the operations that I want. I cannot do, like here, I don't want to do, there's no sense in posting out the setup. The only reason I have it in there, I have set up 0, 1, and 2 so that I can keep my fixture and my parts all within the same file. Um, later on, I'll, I'd like to add some probing to this. I want to do it all in the same file so that when everything comes out and everything saves and everything moves around, it all stays together. Now, what I'm doing, if you'll notice in this part, since it's really two separate programs, it runs 3 8 flat, 3 8 flat, 3 8 90 degree um, spot drill, then uh, 3 8 10 milligram again, and then, um, then we're running the uh, spot drill again. I'm going to reorder my tools. So now I'm going to go See how my, it's actually going to change work offsets as it goes. So 
here is 55, 55, 56, 55, 56, or 55, 55, 56, 56, 55, 56, 56. So those would be my three work offsets that I'm using, and everything will actually run faster that way. So as I was working with my groups today, I was talking about how to um, decrease cycle time. This is one of those ways of doing it. It it really kind of mixes up the operations so that my end is doing all of its operations, then changing over to my spot drill, it's doing all of its operations, I'm good to go. And those are, those are good things. So then now what it does is it's gonna create uh, NC program up here. And so that's a little bit different than maybe how you're posting out today. So you're gonna need to come up here and you're gonna need to go to post process and it says, hey, I got multiple work offsets. Now my NC code opens up down here. So on this one, I, I left, okay, so this has changed, took care of my rapid, um, added in some G3, uh, let's see, but one, things that I, one thing that I did not do, messed up along the line here, I don't wanna do a tool chain or a line number every single time. So I need to go back in and edit this. Back to properties. Block number at tool change. Post process, again, multiple work offsets. And 100 for my first tool. So now I can go in here and then find in 200 is my chamfer. So I've only got two, two tool changes in there, in 100 and 200. Uh, it's cutting down on the amount of times that I'm changing tools. It doesn't really change the program size that I'm working with, but uh, it, does, it does help in, in making some things run a little bit smoother. All right, so to go back here into this one, edit. So what happens if I only wanna run one particular component of that or another. Well, that's where I can go in and turn things off and on. So I can go in to set up one. So say I want to run only the adaptive on that. So I can turn some of these other parts off. Maybe I only want to run the adaptive all the way through and just take a look at what it looks like. So I can, I can output just that. And so it's different work offsets, same tool. Hit OK, post out. So maybe I want to run for whatever reason. I just want to run the chamfering. Uh, now I can do that, I can run, oh, turn it off there, run just the chamfering. If I only want to run the finish pass around uh, the part, I can go in to just do the 2D contour and 2D contour. Same tool, two different work offsets, two different parts, and I end up with a good part at the end. Um, if, so maybe I, I need to go back and uh, I've got some I've got to rework and I just want to redo the star and I just want to redo the outside of it, that's, a, that's one way that you could do it if you had a fixture set up to do those types of things. So in this instance, what I want to do is I want to post out every operation except for st setup zero, the pocket for the fixture. And then, okay, and then I am, is this is really a duplication of my other one. If I want to change that for the name, I'm gonna call this video Posting. And there it is. I go to post process, warning me that I have multiple offsets. My program number is 4600, UNC. Everything looks good. So that'll take care of um, editing some of that post info just to make your um, program's output smoother. And then how to skip some operations. There's a couple ways that you can skip operations. If you want to just work off of one at a time, you can you can also do that here. You can post process just from a particular tool if you want to do that. You can even come in and um, just say I'm on offset or setup two and I just want to do the adaptive and the contour, so just for that tool. I can leave these two highlighted. I can go right click, post process here or come up and um, I can work off of my drop downs if I want to. Uh, for me, I just happen to, I, I like the, fl the flow of this a little bit better. Um, this video posting is just a duplicate of this NC program that I made before. 
So this way I can post out the ones that I want, keep the one or leave the ones behind that I don't want, but everything still remains within this file. And you want to make sure that you're spending the time to make the file and name the files so that you don't end up with a whole bunch of files with some type of random numbers. So that'll help for um, editing your post in Fusion and skipping operations in Fusion. And so I will have another video posted for you shortly.